my name is Andy Piazza and welcome to my channel. I know I look a little crazy today, but I just figured this out. I feel like an old lady. There's a thing called pastel goth and there's a couple girls I've been like watching and oh my gosh, the style is so cute. I feel like I'm like a little teenager like, oh, I'm so cute and pastel. So I wanted to do a fun little tutorial. Um, my eyes, it's not that pastel, but I had to work with what I had. I used a lot of the sugar pill and pigments and stuff. I hope you guys enjoy it. I'm, I like, I'm obsessed with this wig. I'm going to go on a wig craze because I've been dying to color my hair pastel. And my hair is just, ugh, it'll just fry off and turn yellow. So I hope you guys enjoy this look. Um, please subscribe, like, comment, and why don't you click on that little <coughs> notification. It looks like a bell, apparently... <coughs> Just, just click on the bell. Click on the bell, subscribe, like, love it, share it. Thank you so much. I hope you guys enjoy the video. All right, guys, let's go ahead and jump right in. I'm using a NYX Jumbo Pencil and Milk as a base to make sure all these colors really pop. And you want to make sure you're blending it in really well so that way you have a smooth application. Then I'm going in with this light pink blush. I'm using it on the crease. And it's going to be like a transition shade. And you're going to make sure you're blending it out with a fluffy brush. Make sure there's no hard edges. I'm kind of pulling the pink down on the top of my cheekbones into my temples just to really blend it out. Then I'm using this bright yellow pigment. I'm going to put it on the inner tear duct area. I'm just going to pack it in and uh, make sure there's no harsh edges. Just kind of blend it into the pink. And then I'm going to go in with this really gorgeous pink. I love it. I'm going to list all the like products and the names of the um, things that I'm using down below. So I'm just going to kind of deepen up the corners here and just add more dimension. It looks so good. Next I'm going to use this Sugar Pill palette and it's like a really pretty lavender color and I'm going to go ahead and put that on the top, top of my cheekbones and it's just adding this like unicorny effect. Uh, now I'm going with the Sugar Pill pigment and I'm going to dab the purple on the outer edge right next to the pink and I'm going to just dab it and blend it into the pink and it's going to look so pretty. Then I'm going with this green shade. It is so bright and so beautiful. I'm just going to tap it on the middle center of the eyelid and I'm just going to lightly tap it in so we don't lose any of that shimmer. Oh, I just spilled it everywhere. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> Fail! <laughs> well, I'm just going to have to use it up. Here we go. All right, guys, so I'm going to use this Gold Reflex by MAC. It is really pretty. It is like the most prettiest glitter. I think everyone should own this, and you can put this on anything, and it looks gorgeous. Then I'm going to use my favorite eyeliner by Wet n Wild, and I'm just going to give myself a little cat wing eyeliner right here, and then uh, just really uh, make it sharp, you know? Then I'm going to use ColourPop uh, Black Eyeliner, and I'm going to do the inner lid. It's kind of a hard thing to do, so it takes practice, not going to lie. So then I'm going to line the waterline with a nude color, and that just really helps to make your eyes look brighter and awake. So I went ahead and just put on my falsies, and then I actually had a little fun and add a couple of wispies on my bottom lashes. Those take practice, ladies. Don't get discouraged. Then I added this awesome charcoaly gray color by NYX. It's pretty cool for this look, I might say. So I use a stuff called Liquid Sugar, and it's really runny and watery, but I just dabbed some on my cheek, and then I applied this like chunky craft glitter on my cheek. It looks so pretty. I felt like a unicorn. And that is it, my darlings. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I love this look. Definitely won't be the last time I wear it. Um, let me know if there's any other videos you would like me to do. Make sure to subscribe and share with your friends. Bye-bye.